Hi, this is Pam Staples, Sunny Girl Scraps in the Sunny Stampin' Studio. I am excited to have you join me today for 3D Thursdays. To make the peony, you need to use, um, you need about 10 of the large petals, approximately 10 of the medium petals, and then um, about 9 of this petal right here. And you're going to start you're going to take the petal and you're going to take your bone folder and you're going to just distress it like that. You're going to do that for each of the petals. That softens and loosens the fibers in the paper. Okay, there we are. We've done all of the petals. Now next you're going to take your petals. You're going to use the Stampin' Mister um, with a little bit of water and just spritz and then crumple do a circular motion in my hand. You're going to do that with all the petals and get them wet. That kind of distresses them a little bit more. So after you've spritzed each of the petals with some water and crumpled them, you want to put just a little bit of hot glue uh, right down at the base. Try not to burn your fingers. Okay, after you've done all of the petals and glued each of the little corners or the portions there, you want to cut this piece with, um, I use a yellow, and then I'm just kind of curling it again with the bone folder. Now I'm actually going to fold it in, and then fold it again, and you're going to kind of get a little, just like that, and you do three of these, um, at least that's what I'm doing right now, doing three of those, and just set those off to the side. Now the next step, you're going to start with the smallest petal. And just start a little bit of glue in the center and start, I like to do opposites. And a little more glue in the center and then just one more here in the center. So I've got basically four petals together here. Now that I've got that, I'm going to start with each individual petal, just put a little bit of glue on the edge and start going around on the outside and attaching all the way around. It's not going to look very pretty underneath, but that's okay. You might have to hold it a little bit. So now we've got all of the little ones attached. Okay, for the next step, you want to attach the uh, wire. And I've taken a needle nose and I've basically twisted and bent the wire here at the tip. I have a one inch circle and I'm going to punch a hole in the center about. Take my paper snips. Cut to the edge. Now I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom here. You can just stick your wire on there, a little bit more glue on top. And now I'm going to take the piece that I just punched, slide it on, and then just hold it there until it starts to dry. And try not to burn your fingers. And now, taking the medium petals, we're going to start attaching the medium petals. Put some more glue on the, on the inside. Again, I go opposite sides from each petal. And you can see I'm just overlapping the circle that I just put on. Okay, so you can see where I'm at so far. I've got um, the small ones and the medium petals attached. Next, I'm going to start adding the large petals. As I'm going, I'm also looking and seeing where I want to add more petals to kind of fill it in. You'll notice underneath that I'm also going out further and further. This will get covered up, so don't worry about how it looks like in the bottom. And my last petal. So for the next step of the peony, we need to fill in the center with um, some more petals and the little yellow pieces. And what I did here is I took a one and three quarter inch circle that I punched out and I got this one as well. And you crumple it up just like you did with the petals. Now for this step, you want to use your um, you want to use the stylus and what I do 
is I just stick it on here. Take your hot glue gun, a little bit on the tip, and just start placing it in the center. So there you have it, the center of the flower. You got a little bit of the yellow pieces and then the circle pieces that are added in. Okay, to finish off the um, underside of your flower, uh, you want to find a circle that is big enough to pretty well cover up um, the mess underneath there. I'm going to use the one and three eighth, and then I've got a pair of pizzazz, and we're going to again punch in the center. Use the paper snip, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom here around the circle. I'm going to place this on here and just slide it in. Now I do like to make a little bit of a cone. You want to hold that in place while it um, starts to set. I've also cut out one of the um, flowers in the pe um, pear pizzazz. I'm going to also actually attach this onto the back side. And it kind of adds a little bit of the interest. So just a little bit of glue on the underside here and push down. So now to finish it off, I like to take some of the tape here and I'm just going to wrap it around. I'm actually going to put a little bit of glue under it here too. You wouldn't have to use the florist tape all the way around the stem, but I, with a large flower like this, I just think it adds a little extra strength to the wire. So I'm actually going all the way down to the end on the wire. And there we have it. I have a peony. Isn't that gorgeous? And the other flowers that I have, this is supposed to be a tulip. Didn't quite turn out. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.